Choice is one of the most intoxicating things in your life. It's one of the most beautiful things any of us are ever going to encounter. But hiding in that beauty is the most destructive force imaginable. Because if you want to get something done, if you want to do that thing that burns inside of you, you have to remember, you can do anything once you stop trying to do everything. The key to really being successful, the key to doing something at a grand scale, the key to playing on a world stage is to pick something, to be able to stand in a room with a thousand doors and shut 999 of them, to have the balls to know which path you're willing to take and to exclude all others. But until you can do that, you're never going to be able to develop the skill set that you're going to need to perform because here is the reality. It isn't about what you think you should have to put in. It isn't about the amount of energy and drive that you think is reasonable. As Carl von Clausewitz said, pursue one great decisive aim with force and determination. Because that is how you bend the universe to your will. That is how you impress people. That is how you capture the human imagination. And if you want to do something extraordinary and be remembered, you've got to get so good that you're performing at a level that has never been seen before. That is the only path to set the bar ridiculously high and then surpass all expectations. You can't put it down low and then beat it and say, whoa, look at me. People don't give a shit. They see through that. You've got to do something that leaves their jaw agape. You've got to do something that makes the hair on the back of their neck stand up. You've got to leave them in awe. But the only way to do that is to get that good. And the only way to get that good is to pick one thing and go at it with everything you've got. The first level to success in life, listen to me, the very first level, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. Like you know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. Listen to me, you know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. One of the most powerful sentences in the world consists of 10 two-letter words, right? And it goes like this. If it is to be, it is up to me. And you can make your dream become a reality. You can make any goal achievable. You just have to want it. You need to surround yourself with people who want you to achieve, people who want you to challenge yourself, people who want to see you get to the top. But if you can't break past that barrier of being afraid to go into obstacles, then really you're no better than the 90% who just have a dream and do nothing about it. You need to want it with every part of your body. You need to commit yourself. Because commitment and effort is the only thing that will like break these obstacles and get you where you want to go. But until you do that, you won't get anywhere. And the truth is, a lot of people, unfortunately, surround themselves with people who put them down, who think their dreams aren't worth it. And here's the truth. You need to learn to stand up for what you believe in, even when the whole world is sitting down. And if you can do that and believe in what you believe in, the world is yours to take. Bruce Lee said, knowledge will give you power, but character will give you respect. And at the end of the day, I really can't think of anything better than that. I can't think of anything that will keep me company when I'm alone, when there's nothing but silence around, when all I can hear are the sounds of my own thoughts. The only thing that is going to bring me or you comfort is respect, is self-love, is knowing who you are really, and knowing that you're true to that even when nobody's looking, and that concept, that notion of having a guiding light, a principle, something by which you steer by, that you are always true to, and that in your moments of stress, chaos, confusion, of desire, that in your moments of deepest desire, that you're still true to that, that all you think about is that North Star of being that person that you want to be, when you let that be your guiding light, when you stay true to that, nothing can hurt you because nothing will be able to make you feel badly about yourself because once you know who you are and you're true to it nothing else matters never get anything wrong
wrong? What would you do to make a mistake? I, I get everything wrong. It's just that I can't recall it because once it's wrong, I'm moving on to the next thing. Like dwell, dwelling on what you f***ed up on is the quickest way for the next thing not to work. Right? Yeah. So like, so I think I do everything. I mean, you know this, this is a fun thing to say. Some people in the back know this. I was a breakout YouTube star in the first year, 2006. I decided that the right strategy was to leave YouTube completely and go to Vidler because Vidler offered me equity in their company and I've left an enormous amount of attention. I deviated from my intention thesis to do short-term economics and equity in a company and I lost. I lost. When DRock finally came in my life two years ago and we started to try to build up my YouTube for the first time, I was sitting on 40,000 user followers in a world where I could have had millions if I just stayed the course. So I make mistakes all the time. I'm reorging VaynerMedia every day because it's based on a mistake I made the prior year. I just don't give a f- about my mistakes. Everybody else cares about your mistakes. If you're worried about your own mistakes, you've already lost. And I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you're about to quit. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People looking at you play. Five years you've invested. Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. This is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow ain't no such thing as tomorrow. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and rise.